Hello, my lovely Capricorns, and a very warm welcome to your May 2022 horoscope forecast. This is a big month. Not only do we have an eclipse, a lunar eclipse, we also have Jupiter changing sign. And on the same day, Mercury will go retrograde. So there's a lot happen happening up in the heavens. And how is it going to affect you, my lovely Capricorns? Well, on the third of the month, Venus will go into your fourth house. Now, Venus is the planet of love, and it's the planet of beauty and harmony. And Venus in the fourth is encouraging you to beautify your environment in some way. You might be painting it. You might be getting new furniture. You might be moving things around. Uh, but generally, there are good relationships with family members. Healings can happen, good things. And on the 11th of the month, Jupiter joins Venus. Now, Jupiter and Venus are really happy together. These two make really good bedmates. And in your fourth house, well, some of you may be seriously considering making a physical move. You might be relocating even to another country, another state or maybe just around the corner, although Jupiter does have a tendency to indicate somewhere a bit further away or somewhere that you don't know so well. And uh, Jupiter and Venus suggest that um, you may be uh, moving to your dream place or you make where you are into your dream place. You may be extending your family in some way, extending out maybe some dear friends, become like family to you. Also on the 11th of the month, Mercury will go retrograde until June 4th here in your sixth house. And so this is a really good time for reevaluating uh, how you're looking after your health, your well-being, exercise, diet, thinking, meditation, whatever it is. Where are the gaps? What, what's preventing you from having really wonderful energy all of the time and not being susceptible to little bits and pieces, but to feeling really strong? It's a good time for reflection. It's not the best time for signing contracts or getting into important deals and negotiations. If, however, there is no way around it, check it many, many times over before you sign that agreement. On the 16th of the month, we've got this lunar eclipse happening here in your 11th house, lovely Capricorns, and this is shining a light on your friendships, your social circles. And something may be coming to a head. Maybe uh, a friend moves away. Maybe there's an ending to a relationship. Maybe there's a new relationship that comes in. Maybe there's uh, something that just needs to be cleared in a relationship. It's an opportunity for, to finding new groups, new communities with whom perhaps you resonate more clearly. And you may find that you really want to work a little more in a team or a group of people in some way making your unique contribution. On the 21st of the month, the sun will come into this sixth house and on the 30th, a lovely new moon. So this is new beginnings. You might get a new opportunity in work. There may be a new opportunity for a new career, maybe studying something new, teaching, learning. You might decide you want to volunteer and help. And that may be a new project for you in feeling useful and valuable in some way. It's also an opportunity for the renewal of your physical well-being. On the 25th of the month, Mars comes into this fourth house. So you might be doing some repairs and renovations around the home in some way. And it's just a good time for getting things done that have been hanging out for a while. And on the 29th of the month, Venus will come and join Uranus in your fifth house which is lovely for romance, for love, for an unexpected synchronicity, and also very good for something to do with your own business, 
launching something and really it just sort of catches fire, maybe even rather unexpectedly. So there you have it, my lovely Capricorns. I wish you a wonderful month. And I thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subbing. Bye for now.